Hey guys, what's up? Austin the Weird123 here, back with another hit film tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at this ghost effect from my latest short film, Hello Brother, which admittedly sounds more like a Disney Channel sitcom than a horror film. But never mind that, I'll put a link down in the description and you can check it out, then come back and we'll figure out how it's made. I am using Hit Film 2 Ultimate, but you should be able to do this effect in any version of Hit Film, including Hit Film Express, which is entirely free. So, let's get right into it. Here I have my footage, uh, which is a dummy of a ghost, and uh, I pull the sheet off, and we have this creepy looking thing, which is scarier than the actual ghost in the film. Uh, you see, I pull this out of the shot. And we're left with a clean plate here, which I will use to make that creepy dummy thing invisible. I'm going to trim my video here in the viewer. Um, maybe about right here before I reach up. And here, after I pull the dummy out, I'm going to just go kind of towards the end of the video. And then hit O for out. And drag this down to our timeline. I'm going to right click, hit make composite shot, convert. And here we are in a composite shot. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the trimmer tool and right here where I kind of want the video to end, I'm going to just cut it, drag this excess footage to the top, move it over so that right at the beginning the dummy is already out of frame and I am too. So basically through this whole thing we just have kind of a clean plate and I'll trim this down. Okay, and if I toggle this layer here, you can see that uh, the original footage is directly beneath it. Just me pulling off the sheet. And that's exactly what we want. So now we can start rotoscoping. If you don't know what rotoscoping is, <laughs> I'm about to ruin your day. Rotoscoping has often been used as a tool for visual effects in live action movies. By tracing an object, the movie maker creates a silhouette called a mat that can be used to extract that object from a scene for use on a... <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm killing myself just talking about this. So I'm going to start masking right about here when I pull the sheet off. And on this very first frame where we can start to see the dummy, I'm just going to toggle this layer back on and create a small mask, just kind of in an odd shape. So we're going to keyframe the mask, uh, the mask path, to start from about here. And then uh, on the first frame where we can start to see the dummy, we're just going to adjust this mask so that the dummy kind of disappears. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go back in a minute and tweak this mask so that everything is tied together with a nice little bow on top. But for right now, we're just going to have to roto this out frame by frame in order to get this effect. And it's all right if you skip you know, a few frames at a time, because HitFilm can kind of calculate uh, in between keyframes where the mask should be, and it's a lot easier to just tweak that than it is to literally adjust it frame by frame. So if I go back, you can see it's kind of missed the mark here. It's all about patience and uh, there is a reason people do not like rotoscoping and this is it two hours later all right so let's take a look at what we have so uh, obviously the mask needs to be tweaked a little bit it's a little bit sharp so uh, let's go ahead and soften up the edges I'm gonna go down here to feather strength and I'm going to raise this amount by probably about 20. So it's still a little sharp, but it's not as bad as it was. And uh, what we can do is we can go over here to roundness. We're going to adjust roundness to about 27. 
And uh, you might have to tweak the mask a little bit to adjust to that. But all in all, it actually works really well. Let's do a little RAM preview. It's starting to look really good. Let's go back and just adjust a couple things. I know I said this a lot in my last tutorial, but it really is all about tweaking things and just kind of adding little details to make it look right. So now, when we play back, we have a disappearing ghost. And uh, on this particular video, it really doesn't look that bad. But occasionally what you'll get is um, this top layer right here, the clean plate. Uh, sometimes this will be a slightly different color than, you know, your the rest of your footage because either the lighting will change or something in the background will move. So you kind of need to go back in and uh, add a brightness and contrast effect to, you know, adjust the background here um, to the color of the rest of the scene. But uh, this shot doesn't look bad at all. The feathering really does help to kind of blend it in with the rest of the shot. And um, just as a final touch, uh, one of the things you can do always to help your effects kind of blend in is you can add a little bit of contrast to the image and a little bit of color correction just to kind of gloss everything over. I personally like to use the color correction wheels. Add a little bit of, let's add a little bit of warmth. So down here in the shadows, we'll kind of warm it up. And I'll add a letterbox effect to make it look really cinematic. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be back as soon as possible with a new video. Thanks. Bye.